Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, Camping with the Abercrombies. I'm Aaron, my wife Felicia isn't available right now, but I am here to uh, welcome you guys and joining us on our vacation. We finally made it. We are here in Lake Placid, New York. We arrived yesterday uh, from Columbus, Ohio, well from Reynoldsburg, Ohio, and uh, what started out as a 10 hour and 55 minute drive turned into a uh, what a 15 hour drive you know I got us a little sleepy on the way I hadn't been getting a lot of sleep uh, before we left so we pulled over a couple times you know took our breaks and our naps and got us something to eat we just basically took our time getting here I'm glad we left early enough to where you know we didn't get here too late in the evening we left at uh, 3 a.m. and I think we got here at about 6 <clears throat> about 6 30 p.m. And uh, it was a very nice, uneventful drive. It was very relaxing up until the last uh, two and a half hours of driving, which was through the mountains. So, I mean, I don't mind driving through the mountains, but uh, two and a half hours through the mountains or somewhere near that, you know, with twisties and hills and dips and curves and all of that stuff, you know, it was... It was it was interesting. It wasn't terrifying or anything like that, uh, but it, it just made the last bit of that trip so long. But uh, once again, we are here in uh, Lake Placid, New York, at a uh, KOA right here. I mean, we're just minutes from Lake Placid. You know, we haven't been out to do anything yet, but. Uh, you know, I'm just getting up, getting moving. You know, I had to sleep in and get my rest and everything. And um, I'm just now getting up, moving. I've already had my coffee. Uh, maybe I will go out and uh, check out the campground, you know, uh, see what all is available to us here. We will be here for about, I think, five days. Yeah, we'll be here for five days. So. You know, we brought as much with us as we could. We brought our bicycles. Uh, she insisted we bring the motorcycle to do some riding. So we, you know, we stuffed everything into the trailer and uh, brought everything with us to have as much fun as possible on this trip. Uh, right now, I am just sitting right outside our trailer in the campground. And this uh, KOA is, to me, this is probably one of you know so far one of the best campgrounds I've been in mainly because we are in the middle of the woods it looks like they just took the they walked into the woods and said you know let's build a KOA right here so there's trees everywhere I'm not sure if you can see behind me how densely the trees are packed in but uh, let me see if I can give you another view Oh, maybe not but uh let me see here okay here we go uh, here's a another view of the rest of the campground as you can see we unpacked everything the motorcycle and the bicycles and everything and as you can see there are trees just everywhere and nobody is in direct sunlight yeah we might have to worry about pine needles being up on top of the awning and stuff but uh We've uh, devised a plan to sort of help us out with that by the time we get ready to leave. Uh, one disappointment is uh, we have not, we our campsite does not have full hookup. And I'm sure in uh, previous videos I might have said that, you know, most KOAs are always full hookup. Well, this one isn't. You know, we thought it was full hookup at our spot, but uh, the uh, campground host informed us that we are in the oldest part of this campground which does not have full hookup had we been in the other side where it's newer we could have gotten full hookup so we you know ran through all of the proper channels to see if we could get switched to full hookup but we could not so we just have water and electric which is fine I decided we will use the water we brought with us before hooking up to their water just so we will reduce our weight when we leave to head back down the mountain. So we're going to use as much of our water as we can and uh, once that's depleted if we use it all we'll just go over to the uh, 
shower house, which is, I don't know, 50 feet from the front of our trailer. So it's no big deal. You know, it's nothing that will, you know, break up our trip or anything or make us uncomfortable. Uh, we're here to have a good time. And this is the first leg of our trip, which is the furthest uh, Lake Placid. When we leave here Tuesday, I believe we will be headed to um, a thousand islands which is a little bit ways away from here. So we'll be waking, making our way back towards home. And after we leave Thousand Islands, we will be going to Niagara Falls. So by the time we leave there on the way back, you know, we'll just be driving from Niagara Falls to Reynoldsburg, which will be a really easy drive. And uh, we're sort of breaking it up on a return trip. So that being said, I am gonna jump off of here, see if I can find my wife. How you doing? and uh, see what we will be doing today. And I will probably do a walkthrough of the campground uh, and show you guys, you know, what's here, what it looks like and all of that stuff. And by the way, uh, there are no paved parking spots. We are literally on dirt and sand, which is fine. It's pretty cool here right now. It feels like it's about 65 degrees. It's a little chilly. I actually turned the fireplace on inside the camper for a little bit. And that was the first time we really used it since we've been out, since we've had it. But uh, yeah, there's no uh, parking pads, you know, or anything like that. From what I can see, it might be on the other side of the campground in the newer part. But uh, I will uh, join you guys a little bit later on today, or you know, when I make the rest of the video to show the rest of this park and uh, continue sharing with you our vacation and what we're doing and you know the things that we are getting into thanks again for watching uh, please like and subscribe and I will see you all next time bye